This is the Easy Motion Neo City. And as you can tell, it's kind of set up to be a city style bike. You've got front and rear fenders, front and rear lights, and they're actually powered off of a dynamo, which means if the battery pack runs out, they're still gonna work, still gonna offer some safety. And I think they even have a capacitor, so they sort of stay lit up um, a little while after you stop and kind of protect you, you know, so you don't get hit from behind. I also love that it's got this nice rack here with bungee cords, you know, you can kind of put something something simple on top there, maybe one of those like egg crate baskets or whatever. Um, or of course you can add a saddlebag or panniers and it's got like a nice wrap around uh, bar here. Pretty standard size gauge so it's gonna work um, well with you know almost any rack that's gonna kinda like clip on there. I just like it, it's efficient. This bike is pretty sleek and uh, the frame doesn't really rattle a whole lot even though this is bolt on because you don't have a whole lot of weight there to begin with. The battery pack on this is actually built into the down tube, and I'll get to that in a second, but I'll you know, I'll go ahead and go through some of the other specs. You've got uh, eight speeds trigger shifter over here and three over here, so a, tw a total of 24 speeds back here, Shimano Alivio derailleur, and a nice chain guard, so that's going to keep you clean and dry on a day like today where it's a little bit wet and uh, kind of dreary. This is actually like the perfect bike for today um, with the lights and everything. Brakes are standard V-brakes, front and rear. They offer pretty good stopping power. And I love that this has a shock because uh, that's going to smooth things out a little bit. And as you can see, these are 700 by 38C wheels with kind of a, you know, medium, narrow tires. They're going to coast well, pretty efficiently, smoothly, but they don't offer as much shock absorption as like a balloon tire or something. So having that shock is really nice. And even the seat you can see. It's got like these rubber bumpers in here and it's a little bit bigger, kind of soft. So this is a comfortable bike and just really feature rich as a bike. And as you start to get into the electric side, it's, it's equally impressive. So you've got a 350 watt geared rear hub motor right there. Geared means that you're gonna get a little bit of extra torque and uh, it allows the motor to be a little bit smaller and lighter but still offer good power driven from this battery right here, built right into the frame, you can kind of see. Uh, this is a 36 volt, nine amp hour pack, which I'd say is fairly standard. You do have to take it off the bike to charge. That's one of the kind of the downsides here, but you know, it works en well enough. You kind of unlock it, it pops off, and then you, you, know, you plug it in, it comes with a wall adapter. The control system is also really nice here. It's integrated right into the handlebars and you can actually remove this little screen so you know if you're parking this bike at a rack you don't want people messing around with it um, or scratching it or something when you take that off you know it kind of just looks like a regular bike it doesn't draw a whole lot of extra attention which is which is nice and again no one can mess with the battery because it locks on so i do like the the setup here and i also like that they've taken ergonomics into account i mentioned the shock absorption but you've got these ergo grips kind of this swept back handlebars with an adjustable neck. You can adjust this without a tool. You just, you know, pull that thing up and the handlebars swivel and they get higher and lower. So you can create that nice upright riding position, right? Where your head is up and alert, um, which is perfect for city riding. So I just, I think they nailed it in a lot of ways here. Um, even with a nice little kickstand down there, the bike works great. It's solid. And it's actually easy motion as a part of BH, which is this this big company in Spain uh, that's been making bikes since 1909. So the frame, the components, they're all really solid. And they've, they've used the same motor, battery, and LCD system for all of their electric bikes. Um, actually, not all of them, but the entire Neo line of electric bikes. So what that means is if you need a replacement battery pack, super easy to get. They'll probably have one on hand at, at a, wherever you buy this, if you buy it like at a dealer. Uh, it's, it just makes it easier to kind of swap out. And I feel like they invested a lot of time and energy getting these systems correct before they applied them to all their bikes. And in my experience, um, I've owned uh, the Easy Motion Neo Jumper and uh, it's, it worked great. It was a lot of fun. And I like the fact that it's kind of zippy with that hub motor. And if you look at the bike, the weight's distributed pretty well. It's low to the ground and it's just solid. The other cool thing about the electric side of this is that you've got pedal assist and 
you've got twist throttle, okay? So you can, you can go further and have kind of a more relaxed, natural feel when you use pedal assist, or you can use it like a scooter. And I just, I love that they kind of give you the option uh, for that on this bike. And the pedal assist actually uses torque sensing. So it's not, it's not as jerky, like on off as a, like a pedal X sensor. If you push down on that a little bit, it pushes back a little bit. But if you push really hard, it, it goes a little bit more. And so that's just, it's cool. It feels like it's a very natural extension of how, how we ride bikes normally. So we've got four modes of pedal assist here. We're in eco right now. Standard, sport, and boost. And of course, boost is the highest. You're gonna go fast, it's gonna boost you. But you're gonna wear the battery down faster too. Got a speedometer. You can see the battery there. I'm gonna take this down to sport and then I'm gonna hold the camera near the motor so you can kind of hear it and just see it in action. It just takes right off. And again, this is sort of the same system that they use on all of their Neo bikes. And some of those are like off-road, you know, full suspension, mountain bikes and stuff and this this motor performs equally well on those but for something like this that you're just going to ride on the road I mean it's relatively quiet really smooth and uh, I, I'm impressed you know I'm impressed with their bikes I, I like how the Neo line um, is built and how it performs and because again it's torque sensing it's a little bit more responsive I'll do another demo Woo! That is the Neo City from Easy Motion. For the full written review, check out electricbikereview.com, and I'll see you there.